Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you, transcribed, Monday through Friday, by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. That's very pretty. What very is? Pretty. Making faces at yourself in the mirror. That's my plain old face you're talking about. I'm not making one extra face with it. Oh, I wish I'd known sooner about this party tonight. My hair isn't even washed. Don't you want to go and lie down, darling? Take a little nap? New Year's Eve parties don't break up until very late. And nothing will be really underway until 11 or half past. Really? So late? Mm-hmm. Oh, why doesn't it all start earlier? Then we could get home earlier. We'd have been there just as long. Well, that's not the way that it's done. Oh, Mom and I always stayed home on New Year's Eve. Somehow there was no reason to go out. Are you sure you want to tonight? Sure, I'm sure. Don't you? Me? Oh, sure. What are New Year's Eve parties like? Very gay. Everybody's very gay. Sounds like fun. It does? Strange. I, I never thought that you'd... Lots of fun. I feel gay already. Good, good. Don't you? Oh, very. I, I'm kicking my heels. I didn't notice. <laughs> Mentally, my mental heels. Oh, too. your mental heels. We're going to be the handsomest couple there. But of course. And we won't go to bed till after breakfast. We'll dance and dance and... Oh. You're yawning already. Oh, my. I'm not sleepy, honestly. Not a bit. Well, if you are, you've got plenty of time to nap. Oh. You know, getting undressed to get dressed at this hour. I feel as if I ought to go, go to bed, don't you? Mm, sort of. Only three hours till next year, David. Will it be as nice as last year, do you think? Of course it will. And then some. When you've got white hair and I'm using a cane, we'll sit back in our rockers and dream about tonight. Our first New Year's Eve together. I can't believe we'll ever be that old. I hope we will be. Both of us. Yes, both of us. The only excuse for getting old. What is? That it'll be both of us together. Darling, are you scared? Terribly. Is that awful? No. Are you? A little. I am. More than a little. That's all right, too. Maybe I wouldn't be such a sissy about it if everything, us, I mean, weren't so perfect now. That won't change, darling. Other things will, but that will always be the same. I feel better now. When you kiss me, I forget to be scared. But, darling, hmm? you were right. What about? I feel a little sleepy. You do? A little. And since I'm not dressed yet, and since it's only nine o'clock, and since the party doesn't start till later, I love you so very much. Mrs. Norton, I can hardly keep from yawning myself. Really? That's the nicest compliment you ever paid me. David, how'd you get to be so late? You're almost ready. It's 11. These blasted bow ties, they just don't tie right. Parties you have to get dressed up Take for. Please get away, get away from me, my best friend. Them, I'll just please go away. It's too bad. David, we won't get to the party till after midnight. Well, that's terrible. There, how's that look? Mm. Only, mm, I'd say I look pretty handsome. Not pretty, but handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all ready too. All right, here's your coat, Cinderella. On it goes. David. Mm? Mm, nothing. Come on, out with it. Nothing. I'm sure we'll have fun. Well, that's why we're going. So I suppose I feel this way because we're we're used to going out during the day and going to bed during the night. Well, let's be getting along. Guess we might as well. 
is an awfully cozy apartment, isn't it? Bluff and Shakespeare have the whole place to themselves. I hope they have a nice New Year's Eve. Just leave the light on for them. That's a good idea. No, 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 you can't come along. You weren't invited. Get down. Get down, I said. <laughs> You'll wake everybody up, you big fool. Are you addressing me? I don't know, am I? <laughs> Darling, I think he wants uh, It's out. just too bad about him. It's too late. It's a good thing I've got the car downstairs. We'd never get a cab. <laughs> I even heard you say car. Well, sorry, old boy. Not tonight. Mrs. Norton and I are stepping out. Stepping alone. Out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he's right. Now, now be quiet, both of you. Did you hear what I said? Quiet! Well? Hmm. Well, they know an order when they get one. Come on, now. Let's get out of here while everything's quiet. Good night, love. Good night, Shakespeare. Goodbye, my darling. You sound as if you were saying goodbye forever. Well, I'm not going to see them until next year, good am I? Boy. Oh, that animal. Listen so to him. So obedient and so sweet. It's adorable. You think he's going to bark till we get home? Probably, probably. <laughs> I hate to leave him. Look, do you or do you not want to go to this party? Do you? I ask you first. Well, dressed up now, we might as well. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you little cluck. Why didn't you tell me you didn't want to go either? Well, I, I thought that you... <laughs> <laughs> Just because you... I invited you. <laughs> well, you invited me to marry you, too. Didn't you mean that either? Well, it's too late to discuss that. Come on, we're on our way. I thought we weren't going. We're not. We're not? No. <laughs> David Bluff still wants out. Well, it's too bad about him. And he loves driving in the car, and the car's downstairs. But what is Mama going to say about being visited by a dog at this hour? Mama? Oh, David, you are brilliant. Me? I'm psychic. Shh, David, there's a light in Mama's apartment. Shh, shh, shh. the door. So there is. Now, here, here. I've got a key. Shh, you animal, you. You're supposed to be surprised. All right, here we go. Mama, we're here! Make yourself decent, Mother. It's the family. Good heavens, this is a fine time to drop in. It's early. Any complaints? But I thought you'd be... Well, we changed our minds. Any objections? Yes. Did you have to bring the whole menagerie? Get down, you, you gorilla. Gorilla? Get out. Get out. He likes you, Mama. He insisted on coming. Aren't you please? I wish he'd like me a little less. I'll be less demonstrative about it. Go on, now. Get down. Get away. <laughs> Aren't you going to ask us in? Have I any choice? Come on in. But why aren't you at that party? Oh, I got sleepy at the last minute. But you're all dressed. I was afraid I'd get lonesome. <laughs> For whom? My dreamy genie with the light of her own I hair. think you've been to that party. Your mother-in-law, Mr. Norton, is a very suspicious woman. She wasn't brought up right. Didn't have a son-in-law till too late in life. Any hope for her? <laughs> well, this is a pretty sight. The two of you in your evening clothes, the dog, the cat. <laughs> oh. And the parrot. I hadn't forgotten you, Solomon. It's quite a gathering. It's amazing how since we got married, the family has increased. Isn't it, David? Well, I hope there are no more additions for another few months. You know, it's too bad you can't buy a baby in a pet shop. So much faster. And you know what you're getting, too. Well, maybe you two will invent a new system. Oh, the ancient one's not so bad. Nice to be here, isn't it, David? Very. Your mother looks kind of cute in the kimono. I was about to wash my hair. You and your daughter. That's your idea of bringing in a new year. What time is it, Mother? Ooh, just a few minutes before midnight. The old year's almost out. Sorry to see it go? Mm, still, it's been pretty good to me. It's been wonderful to me. Mama, a year ago tonight, could you possibly have imagined this? No, I didn't imagine, imagine it. It's nicer than anything I could have imagined. I wonder what it'll be like next year, this time. Oh, even nicer. I'll be a grandmother. We're pretty lucky, the three of us. We're about to set out on a new year. And we've got everything in the world a person could possibly ask for. Mm, there are too many people who don't have anything to look forward to. Just another year of hunger and misery and fear and want. Well, maybe this year will be the last of that. 
It'll be a brand new, clean year in a few minutes. Not so clean, darling. Too many carryovers on the red side of the ledger. Too many things the world didn't finish up last year. I remember the time. Oh, well, you two wouldn't even know it. It was, it was before the First World War. That long ago. When you could face a new year with no backward looks. No need to carry the past with all its terror and sins into the present and future. When you could start fresh and strong and sure of yourself. When goodwill was on earth. That's the difference, isn't it, Mother? Uh, a big difference, too. Uh. Oh, David, why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? If we'd gone to the party, I think I'd feel a little ashamed. You never stopped to think what tonight meant to other people. Deep inside, darling, you didn't want to go or we'd have gone. Mind if I turn on the radio? I'll do it. I can reach it. Let's see now. Just another minute. Just one more minute and God will give the world another chance. Only one minute left in the old year as we switch you now to Times Square in New York City. Listen to them shouting their heads off. What to be so excited about, I'd like to know. Nothing wrong with shouting. It's healthy. Shows that man is an eternal optimist. And that he's got all the courage and hope he's going to need. Oh, life takes courage. A much greater courage than death. Mama, don't talk like that. David, make her stop. It's all right, Claudia. The years keep coming. You'll see a great many of them. Learn to use them well. David, hold me tight. I'm here, darling. Just, just hang on. Ten seconds left. New Year's never felt like this before. What's happened to me? Growing up, that's all. Every ten seconds, the most important, the most beautiful, or the most terrible. Five seconds left, and the new book opens. I hope the words will read well. We shall write the words, Mother. Claudia and I and our sons and our daughters and their generations to come. In the end, the words will read well. The new year, David. It's come. And we're ready for it, darling. Let her come. Cast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. Whatever revelry you plan for this evening, whether you're going out to a restaurant, a nightclub, a party, or you're planning to see the new year in at your own fireside, there's one good old friend ready to see 1948 in with you. Your always dependable accompaniment to pleasure, Coca-Cola. There's still time to get a supply for this evening, if the party is at your house. With a case of Coke on hand, you're ready to welcome friends and neighbors to the pause that refreshes year in, year out. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you, transcribed, with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. (laughs) 